It's Thursday and we're in Melrose Mountain. It's about noontime. The temperature is 78 degrees and it's beautiful outside. As you can see through the window, it's a sunny day. And today I've been meditating in the book of Psalms. In chapter 25 of Psalms, beginning at verse 4, God's got a word for us. Actually, he's got four words for us. Make me to know your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me. For you are the God of my salvation. For you I wait all the day. Remember, O Lord, your compassion and your loving kindness. For they have been from the old. Do not remember the sins of my youth or my transgressions. According to your loving kindness, remember me for your goodness sake, O Lord. Well, there are four words that I picked up on as I went through those verses of scripture. The first one was teach. We don't like to be taught most of the time. Most of the time we'd rather do it for ourselves. And just ask a child as you try to show them how to work your iPhone or your iPad or one of their toys, I'd rather do it myself. And then the second word is lead me. We don't like to be led unless we're in darkness, unless we're in trouble. Uh, we tend to want to just go our own way and not be led into anything. Uh, but if we're in a dark place, we'd rather somebody else lead. And then the next word is wait. It's not fun to wait, is it? Especially if we're in a dark place. Just wait here. Oh yeah, right, in the darkness. We don't like to wait. Yet David says he's willing to wait on the Lord. Then he says, remember, remember your compassion and your loving kindness. That's what we all want, isn't it? If he's going to teach us and if he's going to lead us, and even if we have to wait, we want him to remember his nature of being compassionate and loving and kind. And that's what we want. The last word is found in verse seven. Actually, it's implied by the phrase, do not remember. Another way of saying it would be, please forget. Forget the sins of my youth and my transgressions. And most of us would probably say, it's not just the sins of our youth. It's even the sins of the current day in our lives. Forget those sins. According to your loving kindness, remember me for your goodness sake, O Lord. Well, when we ask for forgiveness of our sins, he separates us from our sins as far as the east is from the west. We don't have to worry about him forgetting them. He will. But he wants us to continue to have a teachable heart, teaching us his paths and leading us into his truth, even if it means sometimes waiting when we think he ought to be acting. I've been watching on the Internet and uh, the Vanderloops, who uh, he came and, and led our singing at Southside, have been waiting for a baby and now it's several days past the due date and it's their first child and they're waiting and waiting and waiting and nobody likes to wait but sometimes God's timing is always perfect there may be a reason why he wants that baby a few days late I always say that if it's a girl girls are always late <laughs> my wife would argue with that and say you're always late I'm always on time nevertheless we don't like to wait and especially if we're in a dark place where we're asking him to lead us out. So let's remember to allow him to teach us, to lead us, even if it means to wait. And we want him to always remember his compassion and his loving kindness for us. And we do want him to forget our sins. And it tells us in the scripture clearly that he's righteous and just to forgive us of our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness for his goodness sake. Well, today, I hope that you'll allow him to teach, to lead. I hope that you'll know that he's remembering his goodness and his loving kindness, even though he may have you waiting. And all you have to do is confess your sins. And he will forget the sins of your youth and your transgressions, as well as those that are current. Hope you remember that today. Have a blessed day.